Hello friends! Today we are walking around the Smithsonian Zoo, which is in the Adams Morgan neighborhood of DC. This zoo is free to the public and you can just walk through from one end to the other very easily, even if you're just a commuter, which is really cool. Um, when we visited, there weren't too many animals out because it was toward the end of the day, but the walk was still really beautiful and the space is really immersive and feels like you're walking through a lush garden space, which is really awesome. But there were a few animals out and we're going to show you a few of those today. small mammal building there were lots of tiny monkeys and this little fennec fox and also things like chinchillas and birds and armadillos. I personally really liked the red ruffed lemurs who were super funny and cute and honestly just kind of reminded me of the typical lemur you see crossed with a red panda. These animals are actually severely endangered and only live on one particular part within Madagascar and they're, they live within the rosewood trees and the man working in this building was telling us about how important it is to buy used musical instruments because they cut down their habitat to create guitars and things with the rosewood. I sketched some lemurs at the park and cleaned up the sketches so they'd be easy for me to just color over. These were just really fun quick studies just trying to capture some of their poses and movements and I just thought it'd be really fun to color those here today. So these are pretty quick, but took me probably 20 or 30 minutes. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing my typical process of coloring flats, locking the layers and then coloring in with texture and other details.
final lemurs. I really hope you enjoyed this video today. I'm going to link down information about the red ruffed lemur below and also more about the Smithsonian Zoo. Leave me a comment and tell me what your favorite zoo animal is. I'm personally excited to go back and see the new baby pandas, which should be born within the next month or two. Next week's video is all about making some dog stickers similar to the cat stickers I showed you a couple weeks ago. So if you're excited about that, please subscribe and it'll be up on Friday. Get out there and make something today. Thank you.